going on everyone so right now guys i am on my way to pick up a snowblower um the snowblower it doesn't run according to the homeowner it basically purchased a home um and it came with you know some things that you know the previous owner left um the guy states that he doesn't know if it actually runs so we're gonna purchase it for roughly 40 bucks and do some um troubleshooting so see you guys when i get there guys quick update we got snowblower in the back if you can see it red thing over there um, I did not film it because uh, I was trying to you know pick it up and you know get out the area uh, you know because of COVID gentleman's uh, vehicle he actually had a pretty nice setup he basically had his vehicle uh, attached to a trailer which the snowblower was actually on the trailer uh, which made it very, very, very convenient for him. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't anticipating uh, <laughs> lifting because <laughs> uh, when we got to my truck, I actually lifted uh, the snowblower faster than he did, which the, uh, he had the handlebars, so the handlebars kind of hit his legs. Uh, so I was like, oh, sorry about that. And, um, <laughs> You know, I, I guess I got that strength. I still got that strength. Because <laughs> I surely did lift that snowblower off the ground. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I'm on my way home. Um, and I'm going to figure out a way how I can get the snowblower off the back of my truck. Because, you know, my truck is, is up there. Uh, it's sitting pretty high up now. So, we'll see. I'm not going to try to start it now. I'm going to actually wait um, until the weather gets a little bit better. Um, and, you know, I need to get some things first that I, you know, one thing, I, it's it's electric um, start. So it's got an uh, electric uh, starter um, on the top. So that may need to be replaced. But one thing for fact is that it doesn't have the cable to plug into the uh, actual snowblower. So... I'm looking to purchasing the cable. It shouldn't be that much. Man, oh man, I tell you, the leaves, they do not provide any traction. Anyway, guys, this is the big old tundra. And this is our cargo. So, let's get her down. Cool, cool. All right, now I'm gonna just have to figure out a way to get it down safely without breaking my back. But um, as I was previously stating, this is a electric uh, starter. So you would basically plug up a, a cable there, and it will help you, you know, crank start it. Um, beat up as you can tell it's definitely been outside it's got all that algae uh, there or moss um, flat tire everything um, but other than that I mean it's it's everything is here um, it's got the key here if I'm not mistaken this is the key to pretty much uh, kill it so it's definitely got that there so without that key, it won't start. Um, yeah. And, yep. I could definitely tell before it was parked, it was turned off. And as you can see, it's because that says stop. So the previous owner had it. They were using it at some point of time and they turned it off. Um, and it looks like that pretty much they probably just stopped using it in general um, possibly upgrade or just potentially because it's not that much snow that we're currently getting but every now and then there is a downpour of snow so you will definitely get hit with it um, that flat tire may just be a low you know a low tire other than that these tires got some nice tread on it. So 
so let's get it down. I am convinced that I need to invest in ramps for trucks. <sighs> Golly. Crazy thing about it, guys, is I got a trailer. Still had space, too. Got my Ravens flag. Got my Ravens, baby. All right, let me get back to it. All right, guys, got it down by myself. Um, you know, <laughs> lesson learned, bring your trailer. <laughs> Especially if you got a truck with a lift. If you don't have the actual um, ramp, bring your trailer. If you don't have a second person, bring your trailer. If it's just you, bring your trailer. Um, yeah, so this thing, um, it's... So I can't push it forward. Um, it's hard to push it forward, just as is. Um, and I put it into gear one, still the same thing. Um, so right now it's in reverse and reverse, I can bring it back. So um, again, this is one that's powered um, per se. So more than likely, since it's powered, um, since the drivetrain is powered, that's probably the reason why I can't manually push it. Um, you know, it's, I haven't really fooled around with it um, that much. I just got out the truck and I'm going to look at it later when I got time. Um, my other MT, MTD um, snowblower is all manual. So, you know, before I do go, guys, I just wanted to show you guys that when I pull this string, it's pulling. So that's telling me that the engine is not locked up. So I'm not gonna pull it to try to start it because uh, right now we have no no gas. It's empty. We do have some oil, which the oil looks about empty, but it's pretty decent. Um, as far as the texture, um, it's not like a burnt black it's just more so oil it needs to be changed of course most definitely spark plugs got to be changed it's just been sitting outside an element just looking by the rust and stuff and algae this thing has been outside for for a while um yeah but for 40 bucks guys you can't beat it definitely can't beat it and you know just by pulling the pull string, the pull string, um, getting a good feeling that it's potential that the engine may not be locked. Um, and it just may be more so maintenance. Um, replace our electric starter, since that's been out in the element. Um, replace the spark plug. And actually, let me see if I can trace that wire. Okay, so that's going to here. So we may have to replace this whole thing. So we may have to replace this whole thing. Um, I'm pretty sure on um, eBay I can get some parts for cheap because it's a it's an old it's an old snowblower. So I'm pretty sure somebody's got some parts for this bad boy. But for me, for what I need it to do, this is going to work. And again, I'm a I'm a DIY guy. Uh, I like to work on stuff, I like to fix stuff. And if I can't fix it, I'd like to at least try to fix it. So. Well, guys, I was able to push it forward. Just got to use some muscle, man. Just got to use that muscle sometimes. But uh, we got it in there. We got it in there. With a beautiful John Deere lawnmower and some other cool yard tools. Peace. Got old girl. Old Faithful out here ready. Dump this stuff in this dumpster real quick. But yeah. It's a, it's a cold, cold Monday night, I tell you. I tell you that for a fact. Cold Monday night. Let me go ahead and dump these bags real quick.